Let's find some new life forms. Wow, it sure did get dark out there. Yeah, very little sunlight can shine through the water this deep. We're officially in the twilight zone. I'm switching from solar power to battery power. Whoa, cool. Huh. Look at all the lights. Let's go out for a deep sea dive. Oh, I gotta check that out. Let's scoop up. What is that? Whoa, where'd that go? Martin? Martin, I'm still here. Where'd you go? I'm over here, the flashing light. Oh, okay, I can see you. Coming over. Wait. <laughs> You're not Chris. You're an anglerfish. Wow. Oh, those teeth are awesome. Some of those fangs are so big, <laughs> they don't even fit in your mouth. Wow, clever fish. Most of your teeth are tilted inwards, so it's easy for your prey to swim in, but not out. <laughs> Pretty cool. Careful, bro. She's a dangerous predator, so watch out. Whoa. Oh, you can't catch us. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. The light is actually millions of glowing bacteria trapped inside this little sack. She uses it to lure her prey close so she can catch it. <laughs> like it tried with me, but I'm way too good of a swimmer. Swimming's my thing. Martin? Get catches! Oh, yeah! Hey! Hey! Whoa, where are you going? Whoa! Oh, dude! I think it wants to meet you! More like eat you! Whoa! Oh, faster, faster, Chris! Chris. Yeah, faster! Oh, a deep sea shrimp! Perfect! Deep sea shrimp has the best defense mechanism ever. When it feels threatened, it shoots out a glowing glue that confuses its predator. While the predator attacks the glue, the shrimp slips away. Well, I'm covered in glue. Oh, I'm like a glow in the dark target. Yeah, we better get you cleaned up before you get gulped down. If it eats an animal, it's right up here in the food web. This is the sad part of the food web. But look at it this way, Koki. It's how nature works. I mean, if these predators weren't around, in no time, there'd be too many of these herbivores. Soon, there'd be no plants left. And no one would survive. Everything's in balance. I guess that's why the food web works so well, but it's still sad. No! No, <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> Okay, Blur, check this out. I'm injured. Oh, oh, my leg. I can't run fast anymore. I hope a predator doesn't see me. Yes, my trick is working. Predators usually target injured or weak prey. They're the easiest to catch. Ow, I'm so injured. Huh? Uh-oh, it worked, but on a different predator. A python's got a hug on me. Pythons are constricting snakes. That means they squeeze their prey until they can't breathe anymore. This wasn't exactly the plan, but I'll take it. Oh, could you please press that button for me? Oh, it's the one. Ow. Woo! Yes, I'm a python. Wait a second. No animal eats adult pythons. I'm at the top of the food web. Woohoo! Not so fast, Chris. We're checking something. What? Yep, it's right here. It almost never happens, but big adult pythons are sometimes caught and eaten by a super hungry lion or leopard. You mean kind of like that? 
Whoa, you gotta be pretty hungry to tangle with a python. Whoa, not this time. Catching food can be dangerous business for predators too. Prey defends itself, and getting a meal isn't always easy. So it's official. It's rare, but leopards and lions will tangle with an adult python if they're desperate. Wow, I better slither off and follow that lion. Gotta slide. See ya, Blur. Okay, I know a lion would eat a battered fox, and you probably have to be on the lookout for spotted hyenas too. Hey, if I could just find one of those. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to find out, but I have to finish my food chain. Ah! Huh? <gasps> Marshall Eagle! <laughs> Whoo, nice move! The old roll on your back, kick and bite defense? Ha, a battered fox classic. Hey, it's not easy being an animal when things are constantly out to get you. This veggie cleaner will make it super easy to make desserts for the party tonight. Let's see what it's got. <gasps> Oops. Done. Mmm, pumpkin pie. Try this one. Done. Hey. <laughs> Let's try the apples. <gasps> What's that? Hang on, I've got a flashlight around here somewhere. Flashlight, flashlight. Boo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! I knew it was... Um, knew it was Koki the whole time. <laughs> uh, very funny. <laughs> You're not gonna get me twice. Uh, Jimmy, that wasn't us. <laughs> Must be the power generators need rebooting, but that'll take a few hours. No problem. That's why we have these lanterns anyway. Where are Chris and Martin? I'm not sure. They said they were on a top secret mission to find their costumes. Top secret? Knowing Martin, he probably wants to come as a sperm whale. I should check in. Keep going, bro. I'm gonna see if I can spot him. Wildcrats, where are you? Huh? Oh, hey, Koki. We were just out trying to decide which nocturnal creatures we want to be. Bet you can't guess. A wolf? <gasps> no. I found the wolf pack. They're just to the west of us. Okay, you're right. Wolves? Yikes! You guys are actually looking for wolves? Yeah, one of the most misunderstood animals in the forest. Some people think they're really dangerous, but they're actually pretty wary of people. Wow, but... That howling is pretty spooky. Wolves howl to talk with each other. They're saying, here I am. This area is my home, my territory. Oh. Let's follow that. Whoa. Whoa, cool. An abandoned raccoon den. This must have been a great den. It's big, hidden, and Chris. Chris. Hey, bro. Chris, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just checking out this old raccoon den I found. Uh, looks like you won't need a costume for the party tonight. You could go as a raccoon now. Hmm, not bad. Raccoons are nocturnal creatures. Good point, dude, but let's go find that wolf pack. The smell is off the charts. Lead me to ya, flower. Nectar! A kinkajou! Amazing! It's not only insects that pollinate flowers, some mammals do too. Chris, are you there? Just checking. Oh, a good sniffer to find the flower, and a long tongue to lap up the nectar. Hey, let me have a taste. Uh, oh! <laughs> uh. I could use that tail, too. Oh. <laughs> wow! Plants even know how to lure in nighttime creatures like kinkajous, rodents, and bats. These plants can lure in just about anything. Some even make their flowers look like another insect so that when a bee comes to attack it, they get covered with pollen. And my favorite. 
the ones that smell like rotten meat to attract flies. Cool! These plants know all the tricks in the book. That's it! We've got to think like a plant. Plants don't think. But the way nature designed them is smart. So if we use all their tricks, we can lure in any pollinator out there. And the more pollinators that come to the party, the more likely one will be carrying Chris. I think I know just the thing we can build. Hello, anybody out there? Hmm, the pollen is ready to be taken away. But where's the pollinator? Huh? Oh, now we've got dancing flowers? Whoa, I can't believe it. A newly hatched fig wasp. And another, and another. Oh boy, am I glad to see ya. Ha, the fig flower pollinators are born. I get it. This whole thing works for the fig and the fig wasp. The plant gave your mom these nice, safe gourds to lay her eggs in. And when you hatch, you get covered with pollen as you head for the exit hole. Does that mean you're on your way to another fig? <gasps> Wherever you're going, I'm going too. Wait for me. <sighs> Let's ride, Pollinator. 